Hello guys, I recently worked with a project that has a bot if statements in the edit, update and destroy method of the controller. So you can see the same check a bot if and if something doesn't belong to the same team as the logged in user, then the response is forbidden, which is 403 status code. And in this video, I want to show you how to make this code shorter, more elegant by changing it in two ways with instead of this abort if with policies or global scopes in Eloquent. So here's the situation visually, the scenario. So task list, if I click edit, I can edit my own team tasks. But what if I change that URL ID from task number four to task number three? This is where I get that 403 forbidden because of that syntax of edit, check, abort, if. But this would be more elegant if that check would be elsewhere, not in the controller, especially since it's a repeating check. So one of the ways to refactor that is to use policy. So we can run something like PHP Artisan make policy with model task and the methods are described here. We don't need those view methods, but in our case we need edit, delete and destroy. So create isn't an option here. So update and delete. So let's copy that task team ID, the whole code and we return task team ID and that auth user is changed by user. So this is the policy for updating the task and also deleting the task. The same thing. Restore and force delete isn't a thing here. We don't use soft deletes. So this is where we get update and delete policy. And then we can change those abort if into a shorter syntax of gate authorize update on a task like this, like this. And then the same gate authorize instead of abort if and in here we have method of was it delete or destroy the method is delete like this. And also, of course, the condition should be different. So return that team ID equals team ID, then it returns true as authorized. And now the same scenario, I can edit my own task with ID four. But if I change that to three, the action is forbidden 403. And actually, even the message text is different from policy versus abort 403. Instead of forbidden, it says this action is unauthorized. So this is one way to authorize that. But maybe also you don't want to have forbidden as a response, but show page not found as if that record wouldn't even exist. So if someone was trying to guess the IDs, they would get 404 and they wouldn't even know if that record exists, but not permitted to see or it doesn't exist at all kind of an extra security measure. So one way of doing that is to add global scope in the task model. For example, in the booted method, you can add global scope and then all the eloquent queries would be having a team ID as a parameter. And then the result of that page would be 404 not found. Or also according to the Laravel docs, you can specify that in the policy. So in the update method, for example, you can do let's try to copy that code. And instead of global scope, let's comment that out. And in the policy, we would have have this. So if we have correct team ID, then response allow, and we need to autocomplete response. And then instead of deny, you can have deny as not found. There's a separate method for that. And we also need to change the return type from Boolean to response here to make it all work. Now if we refresh that, tasks edit would still return 404 and tasks edit with correct ID would still return the form. So yeah, these are the ways how you can kind of refactor longer abort if from the controller methods into policies or global scopes with different status codes and pages returned. What do you think? What is your preference? What are you using in those cases? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in another video.